Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to install Demon Stone on Ubuntu 14.04 using Play on Linux. So first up, I'm going to start Play on Linux. This is the retail version of Demon Stone, alright, I'm going to be using the disk. Uh, this is not the GOG version, so when I want to run the game, I'm going to need the disk inside my disk drive to be able to play it. So it's pretty much straightforward. For those of you who already know how to use Wine and Play on Linux, it is simply straightforward. Simply use Wine 1.7.30, insert disk, click install, and set it up as per normal. No necessary tricks or anything uh, else necessary. For those of you who are new to Ubuntu and would like to know how to do it, here is how. First off, you're going to need Play on Linux 4.2 or newer. Here I have 4.2.5 installed. Secondly, you're going to need to go to Tools, Manage Wine Versions. And in here, you're going to want to select the latest Wine version available to you on the left. So previously, I had selected 1.7.30, which was on the left here. Once you've selected it on the left, click this arrow button here. When it's done installing, it will go on the right. This is where you want it to be. So in this video, I'm using 1.7.30. So I'm going to close that. So let's get straight to installing it. My disk is already inserted into the computer. I'm going to click install. I'm going to go to the bottom left here and click install a non-listed program. All right. Now, if you'll notice in the background, I already have a previous Demon Stone installation. So don't worry, I'm going to rename this one something else. I'm going to go to next, install a program in a new virtual drive. All right, we want to select the first one here. Click next again. You can name the drive anything you want. I'm simply going to name it Demon Stone How To, because this is only temporary. Click next again. Use another version of Wine, because we want to use the latest Wine version we just installed. And we want to configure Wine because I'd like to start it up in windowed mode first. It's always best to test it in windowed mode first. Click Next. Scroll down and choose the latest Wine version that you have installed. Here I am using 1.7.30. Click Next again. We're going to go with a 32-bit Windows installation. Regardless if your Linux distribution is 64-bit or 32-bit, you have to go with the 32-bit Windows installation because Wine only works properly in this mode. So I'm going to click Next. Give it a couple of seconds to set itself up. Alright, so here in this window, I'm going to go to Graphics. I'm going to click Tick Emulate a Virtual Desktop. Here you can set the resolution to whatever you want. I'm setting it to 1600 by 900. I'm going to click Apply and click OK. So now Play on Linux is looking for CDs. And it does see Demon Stone is in my disk drive, which is good. I'm going to select that. I'm going to click Next. And the installation is starting up. This is pretty much like you would do the installation in Windows, so this is pretty much straightforward, a whole bunch of clicking next. I agree to the license terms, I click next again, I'm going to install it to see, no need to change this, just leave it be, clicking next again. So this can take a couple of minutes, I'm going to speed up this part of the video. Alright, so it's done with the main install. Now it's just simply installing Acrobat Reader. I think this is for the manual, but this is entirely unnecessary, this part. I'm not going to be registering this product since it is 10 years old, so I'm just going to click Close there. And I'm going to click Never Register. We can create a desktop shortcut. What this does is it will create a desktop shortcut inside Wine. Not out here, but inside Wine. I'm going to untick View Readme File. I'm going to click Finish. As you can see just now, there was the Demon Stone uh, icon inside one just now. So we're going to make shortcuts of two things here. First is the Demon Stone launcher, which is the best way to start up the game. Uh, if it's not possible though, to start up the game to the launcher, then we'll just do the exe. So first, Demon Stone launcher. I'm just going to call this how to. Okay, click next. 
And lastly is demonstone.exe. This is just in case for some reason later on or you, or whatever reason behind the scenes that we can't tell that you are unable to run the launcher. So at least this will be here to run it straight forward. But it will also mean that you won't be able to change these settings. So I'm going to click next. That is all we need to do. So I'm going to select I don't want to make another shortcut. I'm going to click next and we are done with the install. So let's test it out just to make sure it does work. This is the launcher how to that we just installed. I'm going to click run. Note that since this is the retail version of the game, you will need the disk inside your disk drive. So right now I'm running it with the disk in my disk drive. Just to reconfirm, as you can see, Demon Stone is inside my disk drive right here. So the launcher works. 1600 by 900 is the resolution I said that previously. I'm going to increase particle density and I'm going to click play. It should start up right off the bat. No additional tweaks or additional installations. Those are unnecessary. As long as you have your drivers installed for your NVIDIA or AMD card, you should be good. This might not be runnable on Intel since their drivers are not yet up to par. Let's see if I can skip this. I'm going to use my controller to skip this. Alright, so it does work. So that is it for this video guys. I hope it helped you to get the game installed and up and running if you have the retail version of the game. And thanks for watching.